A long time ago, my wife asked me to fix her wind chimes. She's had them a long time. They've been steadily falling apart over the years. Uh, the only thing really left of them are the chimes themselves, which I've been buffing. They're a little shinier than they were. And the top, which is a piece of cheap wood with some wire hanging off it, and it's falling apart. So I'm going to make all new parts and restring it together. I start with the top. I'm using reclaimed oak from the previous demo. This is a piece of stair stringer. Once the two pieces are cut into very rough circles, I use a bolt to line up the holes and glue them together. After the glue is dried, I put the piece on the lathe and start to shape it. I'm still learning on my lathe. This is where I learned not to wear your shop apron while you're turning. All it does is catch the shavings. So after I turn the top, I got a scrap, another scrap of oak, and turned this it's a weight that hangs on the center string between the pipes and clangs against them. I call it the clanger. The last bit I need to make, and this is my prototype, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it, is the dangly bit that hangs at the bottom below the pipes catches the wind. I think it's called a womble. I take another small scrap of oak and I want to resaw it into thirds. However, that's a lot of blade showing for a small piece of wood. So rather than cutting it all the way through, I only cut it part of the way through. It probably would have been more appropriate to do this in the bandsaw, but I didn't want to have to clean up the saw marks afterwards. After the first two cuts, just lower the blade and cut the three pieces free. Take the two outside pieces, orient them so that they're facing in the same direction, and then double stick tape them together.
have five chimes to hang from the top. To lay out the holes for string, I draw radiating lines at 72 degree intervals on a piece of paper. With the dowel placed through the top and the center of the paper, I can mark out the center of the holes with a piece of string. With the centers marked, I use this rudimentary jig to evenly space the holes.